Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to take a close look on the new Runcam Swift 2 FPV camera. This is the PAL version and the lens that I bought is the 2.5 mm. There are also 2.1 and 2.3 mm versions. So let's open the box and see everything we're getting inside. Okay, so this is everything we get inside. So we get the camera, we also get in this closure that allows a different mounting and also a spare back cover. The new thing about this camera now it has a built-in OSD so let's go through the connectors. So on the top this is the battery in. The operating voltage is between 5 to 36 volts so it's a very wide range. We have the ground, video, audio, you have the VBAT because we have on the OSD it can display the current uh, battery voltage so we have this connector and you have also the OSD ground and it has also a built-in microphone. In addition we're getting this user, ma user manual it tells us everything about how to set the OSD, camera menu and we can also see this, the specifications of the camera. So the sensor is the Super Sony Super HAD 2 CCD, it's the same sensor we had in the Runcam Swift, Swift 1. The resolution is 600 TVL. The lens is, as I said earlier, 2.5, 2.3, 2.1. Mine is the default one, it's 2.5. You have two versions, one PAL and NTSC. This is the PAL version. And we have integrated OSD, microphone. The weight is 14 grams, and these are the dimensions. Let's see what we're getting inside the accessory bag. So inside the accessory bag, we're getting, first of all, all the bolts and screws necessary to mount the camera mount. They also included this Allen key. So it should be used with this camera mount. So you can mount it like that and just choose the appropriate angle. We also get in this OSD joystick. This enables us to change all the necessary changes in the camera settings. It will connect on here on the left side. We get in also this extension cable that enables you to just leave it plugged to the camera because otherwise you will have to disassemble probably the quadcopter each time you want to choose, change the settings. So you can just leave it connected and then just use the joystick whenever you need to make some changes. We also get in this cable, it connects on this side and then the left side. This will connect to the battery out, it will enable this camera to display the current voltage of the LiPo battery. Unlike the Runcom Swift, there is no AV cable in this kit. The weight of the camera, according to my weight is 13.19 grams so it's a little bit lighter than the 14 grams stated in the specs. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to connect the camera to my TV, show you all the menus. So I just plugged the camera to the TV just to show you how it works. I've just connected also the joystick so I can show you how the settings look like. Okay so as you can see on the bottom right we have the timer and on the bottom left we have the voltage indicator. If we press the joystick once it opens the settings. We can choose between cam title on and off. You can see now we have run cam, another run cam here on the bottom. Exposure. You can choose just shutter between automatic to 1 to 100,000. You can change the brightness, AGC, high on or off, DWDR, you can choose the level, backlight, white balance, day and night, now it's set on color, now the camera is black and white, and this is auto. Now it's set to color. Let's turn the light off and see how it works. So now it's darker and it became black and white. If we put it on color, you can see that now it's on color. Okay. So I recommend just to put it on auto. Let's see how fast it turns to color when we turn on the light. We have image adjustments. 
So land shed on and off to DNR mirror font color contrast sharpness display you can change the settings negative image I don't know, not sure why I would like to do this to use it DPC cover then press exit it can adjust DPC I'm not sure I have to check what it is you can choose between English or Chinese and reset the camera to factory settings in order to change the setting of this on the screen you have to press the joystick up for about two seconds then you enter the screen now it says uncom on the top we can change on and off the pilot I'm gonna turn everything off because I'm going to use a built-in uh, OSD that is on the flight controller so I press exit and now nothing is going to be displayed on the camera so let's take the Runcom Swift for a test flight I hope you enjoy this video Just come. 